Welcome back to the channel everyone, North47 here with some more PGA Tour 2K21 and today we are going to be playing around at Estrellas del Mexico CGC, a par 71 fictional course in the Delta team and it's designed by Kirsch48. We are going to be, as usual, keeping everything on default as we do for these rounds, so let's just make sure, yep, we have wind speed and direction both default. Fairways are going to be firm, so are the greens, and the green speed is going to be fast. We are going to be playing off the black tees, which are 7,413 yards, and we will keep it on pin set number one. Right, here we are down on the first tee of Estrella del Mexico, CGC. Looking forward to playing this one. I was just having a look through the list on TGC Tours, and this one just popped out at me. And, uh, yeah, as I said, it popped out just due to the, the lovely, vibrant colours. I think uh, a lot of you are aware by now I do love the, the vibrant ones. The nice lush greens. So hole number one anyway is a par five to start things off. It's a lengthy one as well. 620 yards down 17 feet. Nine mile per hour wind in the face. Oh, a little bit slow off the tee. Oh, that could make its way into the rough, but hopefully maybe it might just kick left. Oh, it's running. It's running. We're just holding it by a couple of yards. So far, very, very impressive course. Even just off the first tee, I'm liking that. I really, really wish I had a sky cam to get up and have a little look around, like the way the guys on PC can. But uh, no, I'm really liking this so far. Can't wait to see how the rest of the course looks. Um, so we're definitely not going to get there in two. I don't know, do we want to take the driver? Chase it down there as far as we can. Oh, a bit slow again. Wind is just about holding the straight, just about... So at least a, a second shot. I stayed in the fairway anyway. Might be a little bit of an awkward lie here. A bit of a side hill, downhill lie. But we are left at 91, up 11. Playing about 95 into the pin. So I think... Now we're on a downhill. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because we haven't got a back pin. We certainly don't want to go over. We will possibly kick off the rocks down into the water. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Probably just have to take par on this one. I'll put a little bit of deal off on it. Change the attack angle slightly. The wind should, I hope, counter this. Alright, it's a good swing. A little bit under hit. Only 98% power, but... Right, we're safely on the green. It's going to be a horribly long putt. But I would rather this than be going long. Just in case I miss hit it with the sand wedge or something. So it's 31 feet up 5 inches. Green speed is 176. Got the weight right. That's a pretty decent putt from that distance. But to be honest, just with the with that third shot. Just with the, the lie that we left ourselves. More than happy to take part to open things up. Get ourselves off to just a, an easy start. Hole number two is a par three and it is 240 yards down seven feet. Nice attackable pin on this one. Uh, plenty of room to work with. Green slope on right to left. Um, 217 is not going to get there. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a bit of loft on this. A bit of attack angle. And maybe just come over here a little bit to the right of the pin. Put a bit of fade on it. This is a very difficult shot. Oh, it's a slow again. Need to get that under control. No, that's bunkered. If I got the perfect, maybe it might have just, just about carried itself onto the green there. But we have left ourselves just 25 yards to the pin from the bunker. Not the best of lies. Actually, we will club that up. Pull it back to about 28. Another slow. Now, I did do a warm-up round on Hog's Breath just before playing here, and things are all right. But, of course, as per usual, when I start recording, tempo goes out the bloody window. But, solid up and down for power again. And it will remain at even for now. All number three, par four. 
and it's 296 yards now if that wind was any way different it was anyway a tailwind i'll aim it here and i think maybe the angle of the wind it's a nice little waterfall there in the background um i'm liking the color of the water as well uh actually just a nice nice deep blue there um but yeah anyway back to the, back to the round yeah i think if i aim here can i get yeah i'll get over the trees i think if i aim here the wind might just have enough to pull it around to here now if it comes up short we might get a lucky bounce off this way hopefully not kick back into the bunker but let's see how this one goes this could go anyway oh it's fast off the tee now i'm overcompensating for the slope oh we're gonna kick off the bark of the tree i think a trunk should i say we're back in the fairway anyway so <laughs> i'm happy enough with that leaves us to 43 yards up eight feet so playing roughly what 46 i think we're bang on here for a flop shot there's a perfect so at least finally we've got a perfect on the tempo and that is a solid second shot into the green should leave us an easy tap in for the birdie and let's just have a little quick look actually just Ooh, come down here i like that i wasn't sure there i just wanted to have a look i wasn't sure if the bridges were doing a path there just when i was looking at it but let's just skip back down to the putter and get our first birdie on the scorecard take it to one under par really liking this car so far and i hope everybody enjoyed the video that went live i'll just get this one out of the way real quick hole number four is par four uh 518 yards lengthy one so it could be just playing par on this one we'll aim it over here with that six mile per hour right to left there's two bunkers definitely both are in play but uh oh it's fast again come on we need to help it out yeah i hope everybody enjoyed and possibly even found it useful the video that went live went live yesterday but actually at the time of recording this now i haven't even edited the damn thing yet um but just about the different clubs that you can still compete no matter what clubs you're using one thing that i didn't mention in that let's get the approach shot out of the way real quick 196 up 15 so i'm playing about 201 will 188 get there i'd say it will Right, got the perfect but yeah one thing that i didn't mention i'm pretty sure i didn't anyway i'll have to review it, um uh have a listen back when i'm editing is that one other thing that i was meant to say about the clubs is the the fact that the reason why, which i demonstrated there even though it didn't shoot as well as the max distance and the clubs that i'm, I'm actually using now the the gold tier tailor made uh sim max uh 10 feet up one is we were still able to get those greens in regulation leaving ourselves with the birdie opportunities um so it basically shows that because other things that i see in in posts on over on facebook and and stuff like that is people asking what are the best clubs and the thing with this game is there is no set best club it's every absolutely everybody is different uh but hole number five real quick par four 454 yards up 103 feet so this is going to be a long par four slow off the tee with the driver again i need to get that under control into the heavy rough but yeah there is no set or specific perfect club uh to use everybody is different that's why that's why the clubs that we have now are actually great because you can customize the game to your liking and um Ooh, yeah we're not getting that we're, yeah we are 100 percent just playing par here and it's whatever works best for you so i mean the clubs that i'm using now these gold tier te uh, telemade sim max they might work well for me but they could be the worst clubs possible in the game for for any of you guys but yet clubs that would be horrible for me could be perfect for you and so on um that's another thing that i just i didn't uh didn't think to mention i don't think i mentioned it anyway but let's move on with this round 64 yards we're left with up 21 so it's going to be playing about 71 right we'll do a 69 yard pitch will that be enough with that wind i'll we'll put it oh and with that lie uh we'll pull back a little bit maybe to about 70 
273. Parshall's pitch shots now have not been going well for me lately. A little bit under hit. It's on though, that's the main thing. Is it going to get a bit of a run? Left us at a lengthy putts for par. We could well drop a shot here. Um, that was just a bad tee shot. I need to get those tee shots under control. 21 up 5. No, I've under hit that. I have under hit that. Yeah, so we are going to drop a shot. And we're going to move back to... What score are we now? One other. We're going to move back to even par. So, yeah, really need to get the tee shots under control here. Start getting those perfects off the tee. Hole number six is a par three. 170 yards down, 107 feet. So, great. I have to do maths now. Uh, 99 will be 33... Um, 102 be 34 taking about 35 off that so that's going to be 135 yards playing about 126 alright that is going to be apparently if I'm working this out right I hope I am it's going to be a pitching wedge with loft on it we'll take a little bit off change that attack angle send it up into the air let it carry I am. I could go long. I could go short. I think I've worked that out right. Bit of frame rate lag there. I've got a slow. I don't know if it's just the heavy planting on the course. Oh, are we still? In, we're still in play. That came up very short. Jesus, this is a horrible shot. That came up very, very short. Uh, I think flop shot is going to be the best option here. Just to give it enough height to get up there. Red fast. Not intentional. As I did mention in that video, I do not play for intentional red fasts. The game is intended to be played for the perfect, so that's what I do. If you get a miss hit, you get a miss hit. But hole number 7, par 5. 521 yards down, 21. Wind is nice and favourable. Do need to be careful though not to get a fast overcompensating for the slows that we're getting. Fairway is going to kick it left. So I think we'll aim just around about here. That's a better tee shot. Hopefully it does not kick too aggressive. Nah, that's perfectly fine in the fairway. Gets us 300 and... 31 is it still going to keep going oh back to 330 yards off the tee it's aiming me over here but I think I'm just downhill oh it's a big gamble it's a gamble now the wind is slightly angled this is a horrible horrible shot this is a very very risky one but I'm going to go for it aggressive player as is now I think aiming straight at the pin Wind should carry it. Get risky again. We're going to uh, change the attack angle. Give it a bit more height on it. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're... Which way is this going? Kick left. Go on, kick left. Oh, no, it's on the rocks. Through the rocks. And we're swimming. <laughs> that was worth the shot. It was worth the shot. Uh, right, so we're going to be taking... Yeah, bogey on this one again. That is that was a silly mistake. That was a silly, silly mistake. I should not have done that. So I'll just take the four iron up there. Tempo was brilliant just before starting to record. Now it's just it's all over the place. 81, playing about 80. Right, we'll take that back to there. Should run down. The wind will carry a little bit as well. But yeah, tempo was fine. I was not a bother with it. Oh. oh. I think it was trying to turn towards the hole there. But yeah, par, f par on a par 5 is bad enough. Feels like a drop shot. This, provided I get it in, that feels like a double. That actually feels like a double now because of reckless play. Reckless play. Aggressive play as well. I am an aggressive player. So, need to sort that out get things back on track hole number eight is a par four 457 yards really enjoying the course though 
first time on it. Nice drive. Cannot see the ball, so I'll just do that. And um, we're going to get 318 yards off the tee. Nicely up to the dog leg. Leaves us 166. Playing about 168 in. Call it 162 ish with the wind. So 7 iron. Yeah, 8 iron is going to be too short, I think. Might just catch that slope and come back. So what we'll do is we'll put about half loft and attack angle on this 7 iron. Let the wind take it, but it should sit a little bit quicker. Wind is trying to die down. Solid shot. It's heading right for it. Hopefully now it doesn't carry on too far. Catches that slope beautifully. That's what I was hoping for. And just runs it up there now. It should only be about 6 feet. 5 feet for the birdie. Takes us back to even par. So we head on to hole number 9. Let's see if we can finish the front on a positive note. And it's a par 4. 324 yards down 10 feet. Um, don't think... No, we're not going to take the driver. Let's take the 3 wood. There's quite a crowd over here. Now, this is what I'm interested to see. I remember... I think it was TGC 2. Had... Uh, there was a course. I can't remember if it was in TGC 2019. It could have actually been TGC 2019 as well. There was a course. I cannot remember. It was an RCR. And... We used to be called, a, a, number, a few of us used to call it the zombie apocalypse course because the designer put that many spectators on the course. And it was, I think it was a lot more than this, but put that many spectators on the course. It just, it killed the frame rates. It just, it outright murdered the frame rates. They were non-existent. So let's see how this one plays. Because it did get a frame rate, a good bit of lag a couple, uh, on the last hole there, I think it was. All right, that played pretty well. Considering so, solid tee shot in front of a nice big crowd. Gets us a nice, healthy 271 yards off the tee, and it's gonna leave us with 81, playing about 82. Now, again, this is where I do I want to pitch or do I want to be no, it's too far, too close to the back of the green there. I have to run off over the back with that seven mile per hour tailwind running downhill. I think without any adjustments. 69 yard pitch wind should carry it and it should run down we are on a down slope as well got the slow come on stay up stay up stay up stay up just about kept it up there as we're running down reluctantly but we got it down there as you can see as well i'm decked out in the golf club gear finally finished off that sponsor now the the top is now you could get that whenever you want. There's a red one. Here's one of the sponsor unlocks and a beautiful putt. We'll take that birdie all day, and finish one under on the front nine. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, I think it was um, the TGC Tours video. Uh, what the Andalusia Masters? I was wearing all Under Armour, and this is a nice. We got the the church pew style bunker going on here um yeah i was wearing all under armor because i was sponsored by them at that time in career but anyway come on let's move on with this round hole number 10 par 4 411 yards down 13 feet that looks a little bit more than 13 flipping feet down but whatever game i'll take it we'll take the three wood off the tee again very narrow fairway got the perfect anyway takes it nicely back into the middle of the green and is that someone standing up there? Am I seeing things? Or what the hell is that on that second bit of fairway? Oh, that's actually the pin. Jesus, that's the green. I thought it was... Whatever way... I need to go and get my feckin' eyes checked. Because whatever way I looked at that, it actually looked like a spectator. <laughs> I thought... Whatever way I was looking at it, I thought it was the fairway. Yeah, I'm going to get an eye check out. Uh, an eye test after this. <laughs> 147 is what we're left to. Up 23. Uh, so it's going to be playing about what 155 now with the wind what's the lie like wind is pretty good right nine iron or sorry not nine iron seven iron even i think should be just nice so what do we play one or say 155 yeah i think nine or again i'm saying nine iron seven iron should be just just nice to get into this green i hope he's all as well in that video uh, about the clubs 
enjoyed my my horrible horrible fail of trying to locate turn order in the fucking menus. Uh, I don't you. Know, I very 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 rarely use ghost balls or even play or get a, get the chance to play live rounds with anybody. So <clears throat> uh, going in the menus for that, I just don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, sixteen feet down, three inches. Um, is the green line going to be enough? I think just a little bit over. Oh, I've overhit that. Way overhit that. Did not take the break at all. Kind of look. Well, that's a push and a half. I was about to say, I was lining that put up while I was talking, which I shouldn't have done. And now we have another unnecessary bogey on the scorecard. Me putting out videos as well about keeping bogeys off the bloody scorecard. And here I have three of them. But uh, it does happen. It goes to show it does happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody. You can have those perfect rounds where everything, all the planets and stars align. And uh, things go right. And then there's just times like this. But hole number 11, par 4, 422 yards. Up 148 feet. Bloody hell. Right, at least we, we seem to anyway have gotten the tempo under control for the driver. So only 262 off the tee there. It's going to leave us 162. Up 51, so that's what, 17. 169. 179 in. So I think we'll play. That's running uphill there, I think, isn't it? Not too bad. So 179. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think six iron without any adjustments should hopefully just run up there nicely. Maybe just a bit of D loft as well as we are on quite an upslope. Got the perfect. Come on, sit down. Oh, now if this can just run up, there's a bit of a yellow slope there. If I can just have enough pace to run up, that is a beautiful approach. I will take that. Should be just left edge. There we go. Overhit it a little bit. Slight push as well, but it was just enough to get it there. Get it in. Get it back to one under par. Hopefully no more bogeys for the remainder of the round. Hole number 12, par 4. And oh my god. 343 yards down 280. Oh god, you don't want vertigo on this one. Bear with me two seconds till I just, because uh, my brain cannot calculate that. Um, I genuinely cannot calculate that. Where's my calculator? 285 divided by 3. Wait, did I get that? Or did I type that in right there? 285 divided by 3. 95 down. So 343. 3.43. I think I'm about to get a knock on the door. Uh, take 95 off that. 2.48. Jesus Christ. I think I could take the 3 wood onto the I am tempted. Very, very... Uh, we've got a few bogeys on the car on the scorecard already. 2.48. I need the old scout cam. I want to see the flipping green. Can I carry to that? Give me a look at the overhead. We'll get into the, get into the green itself. 3.33 to there. I think I think we can carry carry to that with the three wood. And you know what? For shits and giggles, we're going for it. This could go absolutely anyway. I have no idea what way this is going to go, but we're, we're going for this. We got a perfect 100% power. Stay up. Nope. 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 Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Where the hell are we? Might be declaring an unplayable, unplayable here. Is this going to actually come out? Is this going to... We'll take, we'll take it on. I'll try it. I'll try it. If we get another bird, or a bogey, not birdie. Uh, if we get another bogey, we get a bogey. I'm going to try this. Flop shot. Cannot uh, see what way we're going. Okay. Right, 71%. Well, we got it onto the grass. <laughs> worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I had to, had to take that shot on. Had to try and get it there in one. I think if the wind was maybe just slightly angled in a, in a 
tailwind would have been a little bit better but it was worth it we had to take that shot on and try it oh kick on the green Jesus Christ <laughs> that was yeah well, I think we're taking on a bogey here as well It was, a po it was always a possibility though, that shot was going anyway. Go on, go on, go on, what a par save. What a par save. <laughs> I actually, I'm surprised that it let me take that shot actually. Um, I thought I thought we were going down into war there when I went through the rocks, but um, no, apparently it let me play the shot. Could have declared unplayable, but um, nice big waterfall off in the background there. That was very nice. Really enjoying this course I am. That was a great hole to play. Hole number 13, anyways, par 3. 205 yards to the pin. Down 9 feet. So it's playing about 202. Is the 4-iron going to get there? Yeah, the 4-iron should get there comfortably. Provided I get a perfect and I get a fast. Wind is pulling it back. It will be on the green. Which way is it going to kick is another question. Decent run out. That's not bad. I'll take that. Probably a little bit of a better outcome than well, possibly would have gotten with a perfect. Breaking both ways. It'll be 21 feet dead onto the pin. Uh, I think I want to just keep it straight. There's not really much. I'll go just right at the pin actually. That looks good. That looks good. There we go. That's a nice birdie there. And that will take us finally to two under par. Hole number 14 is a par 4. 435 yards down, 7 feet. Um, I think that is the... Apparently there's another spectator over there, but uh, no, it's the pin. Yeah, it's the pin. How did I not notice that that was the pin with the feckin' flag marker would have been over? I don't know. It's a, uh, an eye test for me after this round but uh yeah i don't think we give me a look at the overhead i don't think we really have any other options this is the fair way for the holes this is where i'm going to play i'm not going to play it down the left or is it actually hold on is there another t there's no t boxes over here does it because there's no green here isn't there no? all right so yeah we actually have we have the two options so we'll, we'll come over here we can take the driver very narrow down this one though um but it is the longer option. Got the perfect, thankfully. Wind is angled in the favour though. If we did get a bit of a slope, possibly would have held it straight. Slight bit of room between the, the fairway and the rocks to work with, heavy rough wise. But I will take that. Leaves us 139. Playing about, it's up 21, so playing about 146. With the wind, say what, 154-ish? So a slight bit of deal off to think maybe on the 8 iron. Should be just nice to get it up to the hole. That felt slow and it was. Should be on the green hopefully. I can hold it just barely on the edge. Or will it just trickle out onto the fringe. That's no problem. We still put from there so. That's not too bad. It's dead straight by the looks of things. So I think we'll just give it enough weight to get there. Hopefully hit it straight, which it looks like we have done. That's a beautiful putt. Straight and all, but still, beautiful putt. And finally, take it to three under par. Heading in the right direction. Four holes left to play. Hopefully no more bogeys. Hole number 15 is a par four. 459 yards, up 30 feet. And we should... Now, hopefully if the wind doesn't hold it up too much, be able to get onto that slope and run it right down there. Then again, though, if it sits on that slope, that's going to be a horrible lie. That's fast. Oh shit. Kick right. Kick right. Kick right. Kick right. Now we're in the heavy rough. We're screwed on this one. I think this is just going to be a par hole again. 206 down 11. Going to be no hope. Yeah, 63% with the 5 wood. And with the 3 wood. I'm not going to bother going for that. We're just playing par on this one. Uh, to be honest now, we just have to get it around this tree as well. Bit of a fast. Ooh, that tree is bigger than I thought it was. Right, we're in the light rough. Slowly but surely getting into shorter and shorter grass. 58 feet up 14. So playing, what, 63. 
Um, 96, okay, yeah, we'll pull that back to about 64. Maybe 65, 66 with the wind. Fast again, but I did slightly underhit it, so kind of cancelling each other out. That's not too bad. No gimme for the par, though. Should be no more than just about halfway. Ooh, hold that line. That's a solid par save. <clears throat> I mean, opportunities are out here on this course. It just depends on how reckless you want to be. So if you do play the course yourselves, after watching this, if you haven't done so already, uh, you'll learn from my mistakes if you if you haven't played it so far. But hole 16, par 3, 236 yards, down 27. So playing about 227. Call it actually pretty much 217 with that wind. So that's 5 wood dead onto the pin. Um, ooh, I don't think 4 iron is going to get there. So we'll pull this back. This is going to be a tricky shot now with the partial. Oh, we got the perfect. 95% power, but I will take that. I don't know if that's under or over here. Going to be a bit of a lengthy putt by the looks of things. But we're on the green. Didn't pop it to the right and end up in the, the green bunker. Or left and off the rocks to God knows where. But we're left at 22 feet down, 4 inches. I think just a little bit outside. So we'll come back to the right a little bit towards the end. I've under hit that, I think. Can gravity take it? Go on, go on, go on. That's a great putt. And that will take us to 4 under par. I thought that was going to just stop inches from the hole there. Hole 17, par 4, 472 yards, down 62 feet, 7 mile per hour wind behind. I think just straight here should be good. Let me look at the overhead, have we got options actually? We have got a little fairway actually over here. Which might be a little bit of a better option to take. Might be a little bit better. So I think, yeah, we'll take this one on. Just about got the perfect there. Bang on 100% power. And just enough room to work with on that. That was a that was a good shot. 131 is what we're left with. Down three. So playing bang on 130. Six mile per hour wind. Don't think. Well, actually, yeah, the, the gap wedge might be just nice. We are on a bit of a downslope, so I'm actually going to loft it ever so slightly, to be honest. Um, but I think it should. Wind is picking up a little bit. Oh, bit of a fast, so definitely going to be enough now. Oh, go on, run up a bit. Didn't need to take the loft off, or take any loft. Add any loft. Don't know what I'm trying to say now. But uh, we've left ourselves at 10 feet. Down 2 inches. Just enough to... Oh my god. Wow. That broke a lot more than I thought it was going to. And I overhit that as well. Green light to be there. We'll creep it in for another par save. Keep ourselves a four under. Right, we have a par five to finish the th finish things off. So, let's see, 598 yards, down 98 feet. So, take about 33 off. That's going to be, well, there's no point calculating that now. Um, wind is kind of favorable. I think what we'll do, try and get as many yards off as we can. Should kick hard to the right, depending on how far it carries. But we're going to really drop that attack angle. Or increase it whichever way you want to put it and take as many yards off as we can oh it's slow that's gonna be in trouble I think oh gone by the crowd it is oh shit bounce it off the rocks I think we'll take another look at that <laughs> oh I want to see that again from behind I want to see that from behind I still have turn order up I'll turn that off Oh no, I forgot about that. Blooming camera angle in the replays doesn't let you do that anymore. 
Can we get that back? Or we can chase the ball? But that was a very fortunate bounce. And what was it? Uh, let's actually have a look at the yards. I think it was 390 or something. 397 yard drive. <laughs> very fortunate there. That was a stroke of luck that was. Thankfully it did kick that way. Because otherwise we were off down into the massive river. Off down this way. Somewhere. Yeah off down here. Ready on a little sailing boat to go. Heading in or out towards the ocean. Right let's reset that shot. Um, right, so we've left ourselves anyway with 223 yards, up 38, so at about, what, 13 onto that, so 236, and with that wind, to be playing about 226, is, is the 5 going to be enough to carry there? What's the lie like? We're on quite an upslope. I'm tempted, I think we'll go for it, we can still get up and down for a birdie, so I think, yeah, we will, we'll go for it, we'll give it a go, see if the 5 will carry. Maybe the wind will have just enough to carry it up there. Got the perfect. This is on. That should kick forward nicely. Go on, go on, go on. Just about creeps this way on. It's going to be off onto the fringe. So either a put or a chip for the eagle. Do I want the chip? Or do we want the put? I think we'll go with the chip. Oh, that's in. Get in. That's a beautiful way to finish the round. For, a chi for an eagle, chip in. Take it to six under par. After some very, very risky shots throughout the course. <laughs> and a, a few too many bogeys as well on the scorecard. That is a fantastic course. That is Estrellas del Mexico CGC by Kurt48. If you managed to make it this far in the video, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop it a like. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe. I shall talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one. And bye for now.